Hey guys, so the York Peninsula adventure has come to a close and I'm on my way to Air Peninsula. But firstly I've stopped in a town called Port Augusta and it is to, it's a bit of a halfway stop between the two peninsulas if you need to resupply or uh, fix anything uh, and just have a nice clean shower. Uh, last night I stayed in a caravan park uh, I did exactly that, uh, which was good. I don't really enjoy staying in, in caravan parks, but it's been 10 days since I've had a nice hot shower, so I really appreciated that. And uh, it's also a place where you've actually got some decent signals, so I'm trying to upload a video of York Peninsula at the moment. Morning everyone, I'm in the small town of Cal in South Australia. This morning I went and grabbed a coffee. It uh, gave me the opportunity to speak to some of the locals and find out where to buy the best oysters. Uh, apparently Cal is very good uh, for buying fresh oysters. I've been told that a company called uh, Shakmi Oysters is the best place to buy the oysters, but you'll be able to tell me a bit better. Uh, if that's the best place to go or it's just a, a made of, of the barista. Anyway, we're on our way down to Port Lincoln or Coffin Bay, either one of those. I'll see how the weather turns out today and uh, yeah, follow along. I'll tell you guys what happened to me this morning. I was in the town of Cowell wanting to buy some oysters and uh, went to this one joint that's got oysters. Uh, bought 12 of them and this guy just gave me one look. Probably thought the city slicker doesn't know how to open up an oyster so <laughs> he gave me a, a, a free lesson on how to, how to open up an oyster. Uh, he even asked me are you sure you know how to open up an oyster? <sighs> anyway, I, I, I allowed him to uh, teach me how to open up an oyster, which I'm very grateful for because I actually got that, that additional oyster. I always get excited when I uh, meet a, uh, another troopie or, or a family with a troopie. And this morning I stopped in a town called Arno Bay and Obviously parking rules applied. I saw a troopie, I parked right next to it, took the obligatory photo and actually met the owners. And Paul and Tanya, if you're watching this, you guys are bloody legends. I thought I was already on, on Air Peninsula, but apparently it only starts now. You! So finally just arrived at Coffin Bay. It's uh, the place that I really wanted to come to, uh, to have some fresh oysters. I uh, actually wanted to come here and skip York Peninsula. I'm glad I didn't skip York Peninsula, but here we are. And in the background, I can already see some oyster farms.
Morning everyone. I am at Morgan's Landing campsite at the moment in Coffin Bay National Park. Uh, it's a beautiful place to be at but there's quite a lot of bees here. I arrived uh, yesterday at around 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. and just got swarmed by the bees. So I sat on the beach for most of the time and it was extremely windy so the bees try to stay away or kept away and uh, still managed to get stung so I'm up very early this morning usually I'd make some coffee and go sit on the beach or something like that and relax a bit but uh, this morning I'll I'll head off uh, just because I don't want to get stung again <laughs> I just made myself some coffee uh, because I didn't want to make coffee at the previous campsite because of all the bees and uh, I've driven slowly back towards Coffin Bay because I'm still staying in the park but a campsite closer uh, to Coffin Bay and I want to go and explore a little bit uh, apparently there's a place called Golden Beach just over there uh, see if we can get to it. There's no tracks or dedicated tracks or anything like that, but we'll see if we can find it. So I found the golden beach over there. It looks like a pretty beach, pretty enough, but it seems like you need to do a bit of bush bashing to get there, which I don't really feel like doing right now. Uh, but yeah, nice to see. It is a pinpoint on the map, but there's no dedicated path to get to it. has been a real lazy morning and uh, it's also my last day in the National Park, Coffin Bay National Park. So really just trying to relax, taking the scenery and uh, yeah, before we head up, I think we'll be going to Port Lincoln today. And the weather should be getting better now, but as you can see the weather is bipolar. It was too hot the other day and now I'm wearing a jumper. I didn't do too much filming yesterday. The weather was very bad, extremely windy. And to be honest, it was just a, a, a day to move from one campsite to the next and just to explore this new campsite. So I'm on Coffin Track at the moment in the National Park and uh, 
there are essentially three areas where people get bogged. Um, this is one of them. I'll try and show you uh, the area so you can know when to give it the berries when you get here. Uh, but it all comes down to just airing, airing down your tires. If you air down your tires, you should be alright. Most of the people that get stuck are people who haven't let their tires down and especially people with trailers and they haven't let the air out of their trailer tires too. Um, at least run it at 20 psi, uh, you'll be fine. A big part of the national park is actually bitumen so after getting off the sand I'm just airing up my tires. Thanks for watching part one of my travels on Air Peninsula. Stay tuned for part two where I try to dig myself out of a very sticky situation.